Today, we're solving two-step inequalities. Let's get to it. Solve the inequality and graph the solution. So with two-step inequalities, we're gonna solve them exactly the same way we would two-step equations. Try to get the variable alone. Anything you do to one side, you gotta do the other. You use inverse operations. The one thing we need to remember when dealing with inequalities, though, is if any time we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, we need to switch the inequality symbol. That's the main thing we need to remember. Everything else should be the same. So let's get started. 6x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 35. First thing, I need to get that x alone. It's being multiplied by 6, and then we're also subtracting 7. So the question is, well, what do I get rid of first, that minus 7 or the 6? If I try to divide both sides by 6, I could do that technically, but I'm going to make my life a lot harder. What would happen is I have to divide both sides by 6. That's the key word, sides. I can't just do this, just only divide that term by 6. If I'm going to divide both sides by 6, that means all the terms on that left side, including that minus 7, would have to be divided by 6. And if you look at that, you can hopefully see that that's going to kind of create a bit of a mess. We could do it, but it's not very efficient. So instead, what you want to do is you want to kind of go in the reverse order of the order of operations. Order of operations, we would do parenthesis, anything inside parentheses first, then exponents, multiply or divide, add, subtract is at the end. Now we kind of go in the opposite direction where we try to get rid of addition and subtraction first, then take care of multiplication or division, uh, and so on, until we get the variable alone. So, what I'm going to do first is get rid of that minus 7. To do that, I need to add 7 to both sides. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. That goes away. I'm left with 6x on the left side is greater than or equal to 35 plus 7 is 42. We don't need to switch the inequality symbol because we just added a positive number to both sides. That's totally fine. Now we got to get that x alone. 6x means 6 times x. So to get rid of that multiplying by 6, we would divide by 6. Anything we do to one side, do the same to the other. Divide the other side by 6. And we are left with x. Again, we divided by a, a positive number. So it's still going to be greater than or equal to 42 divided by 6 would give us 7. So we have solved our inequality. x is greater than or equal to 7. Now let's graph. So at 7, we're going to put a closed circle and an arrow going to the right. Let's try B. w over negative 4 plus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 6. Same thing, we're first going to try to get rid of that plus 3. So to do that, we need to use the inverse operation of addition, which would be minus 3. Do the exact same to both sides. That goes away, and we are left with w over negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 6 minus 3 would give us negative 9. Now we can get that w alone. Right now, w is being divided by negative 4, so the inverse operation of division is multiplication. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 4. Those simplify, and we're left with w on the right side. What did we just do, though? We just multiplied both sides of an inequality by a negative number, which means we have to remember to switch. Switch the inequality symbol, so now it's less than or equal to negative 9 times negative 4 would give us a positive 36. So w is less than or equal to 36. Now let's graph. So at 36, I'm going to put a closed circle and an arrow to the left. Here's some to try on your own. All right, example two, we're still solving inequality and graphing the solution. Now we're getting a little bit more challenging of problems though. So here we go. Negative five times in parentheses, x plus nine is less than 30. So if we look at this problem, 
there's a couple ways we could solve it. First, we could distribute that negative 5 to the x and to that 9 and then solve after that. But there's a more efficient way to do this problem. If you think of what I mentioned before with order of operations, when we're solving, we're kind of doing the order of operations but in reverse. If you think of it that way, anything in parentheses you would leave to the end. We're going to do the exact same thing here. So right now we have negative 5 times uh, the sum of x and 9 in, in, the, in those parentheses. So to get rid of that negative 5, instead of multiplication, I would divide. So that gets divided by negative 5. I need to do the exact same thing to the other side. So what happens is those negative 5's simplify and we just have x plus 9 on the left side. We don't need the parentheses anymore uh, because nothing's being multiplied by that x plus 9 anymore. So we don't need it. We divided both sides by a negative number though, so now we got to remember instead of less than, we need to switch it to greater than and 30 divided by negative 5 is going to be negative 6. Now to get that x alone we just need to subtract both sides by 9 and x is greater than negative 15. Now let's graph. So at negative 15 we're going to put an open circle with an arrow to the right. Alright, last example. 7x plus 32 minus 9x is less than or equal to 27 minus 13. Okay, this inequality looks way more complicated than the previous examples we've done. However, there's one little step that is going to make this problem way, way easier. So if you remember with solving equations, one tip is anytime you can simplify before you solve, you're going to make your life a whole lot easier. We're going to do the exact same thing here. So the question is, well, what can I simplify? So right now I'm looking for like terms and 7x and that minus 9x are like terms. 7x minus 9x would be negative 2x. So I can simplify that left side to 32 minus 2x. Already that looks way nicer. I'm not doing any solving, so the inequality sim symbol is still less than or equal to. And now on the right side, can I simplify that? Well, yeah, 27 minus 13, that's simple. That would give us 14. So now look at our new inequality. 32 minus 2x is less than or equal to 14. That's way simpler looking than what we started with. So again, if you can simplify an inequality before you start to solve, do it. It's going to make things way easier. Okay, so now let's solve. First, I need to get rid of that 32. Now it's a positive 32, right? There's no negative in front of it. So to get rid of it, we need to subtract 32 from both sides. So let's do that. Minus 32, minus 32. That goes away. I'm left with negative 2x on the left side of the inequality is less than or equal to because we just subtracted, we didn't multiply or divide uh, by a negative number, so we don't need to switch yet. 14 minus 32, that would give me negative 18. All right, last step to get x alone. Right now it's being multiplied by negative 2, so we need to divide that side by negative 2. Anything I do to one side, do the exact same thing to the other. Those simplify, and we are left with x. We just divided both sides by a negative number, so now we do need to switch. Is greater than or equal to negative 18 divided by negative 2, positive 9. So x is greater than or equal to 9. So at 9, we're going to put a closed circle and an arrow to the right. Here are some to try on your own.